Do you want to make a difference in the world? Do you want to find a cure for cancer? Or find solutions to antibiotic resistance? Do you want to end social injustice? Or find ways of protecting our environment? Do you want to address the unethical ways of the fast fashion industries and its contribution to climate change? Or do you want to stop the deforestation of rainforests for palm oil production to protect wildlife and the indigenous people? Or understand the impact of social media on development and growth? Or do you simply want to maturate sustainable agricultures to help farmers in developing countries? If your answer is yes, then a PhD might be right for you. Hello guys, um, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Samuel Dada and I'm a PhD student at the University of Cambridge um, studying biological sciences. Um, yeah, I'm basically in my first year, well, actually almost completing my first year. Would I even call it a first year rotation year? But anyway, I'm basically in the first year of my PhD program and I just thought I should make a video um, basically explaining why you should do a PhD and why you shouldn't do a PhD. So let's start by um, explaining what a PhD is essentially. So a PhD is, stands for Doctor of Philosophy and this is a postgraduate um, doctoral degree um, which you can obtain by either enhancing to existing knowledge or contributing new ideas or new um, knowledge to a particular field or a particular subject or research area, whatever it may be. Um, but this is basically the highest level of academic um, degree that you can obtain. So, why should you do a PhD? Why should you do a PhD? Why the hell did I decide to do a PhD? This is a very important question because a PhD is either three to four years long and it's a huge commitment, so you must ensure that you're going into it for the right reasons. Um, so, my first reasons for why you should um, do a PhD or why you should want to do a PhD is if you want to make kind of a difference um, in the world. Yeah, um, yeah, that's that's a good reason for wanting to do a PhD. But it's important to know that um, the difference that you'll be making will be in a particularly niche way. Um, it's going to be very specific. Um, let's say you're investigating or wanting to, you know, make a difference in terms of advancing our knowledge about cancer or antibiotic resistance. You must be aware that, yeah, some people might be able to cure or find a cure for cancer but the end goal is going to be very, very narrow. If you want to basically make a difference in the world, you don't need to do a PhD to do that. You could do that, you know, through different ways. For example, if you want to basically um, maybe reduce um, the deforestation of the Borneo rainforest in Malaysia, or maybe the stop social injustice in maybe America or police brutality in America. There's so many different ways you could go about it. It doesn't have to be through doing a PhD. Essentially, which brings me on to point two, essentially, the most important thing about doing a PhD is actually the research aspect of it. You must enjoy research. So if you want to actually maybe stop deforestation, it requires you to actually research into that area fundamentally, look at the history between that area, look at um, why this has become more prevalent in this day. Why is the deforestation happening? What impact does this have to the indigenous people like the Penang people in um, in um, the Borneo rainforest. So understanding the fundamental aspect, researching and delving into various aspects within that subject to be able to come up with a question or a way of tackling this problem. This is essentially what a PhD is. It's it's almost like a knowledge base of activism. Act 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 oh my goodness. It's basically a way of impacting society with knowledge and understanding and just adding um, knowledge and researching into ways in which you could tackle a specific problem um, to create change in a, in a more 
maybe I would say maybe a more educative way but that's I don't think that's the right term to use because I believe that there are various ways of um, inflicting change in our society um, through education so um, you know research doing a PhD is not the only way so it's very very critical that you basically love research you, you must love research you must love reading into things um and understanding why things have come about the way they are and what progress has been made previously to you um within that field or what has actually been done previously in that field of study so it's very very critical that you love research so i think the passion of understanding something or wanting to make change and also the love of research need to go hand in hand for you to decide whether a PhD will be something that you would like to do. Third, um, you must be open to being very independent because I think a PhD is very, very self-driven. You must be able to know how to drive yourself because there's going to be a lot of times where you're going to be by yourself trying to tackle this problem. You're going to face loads of loads and loads of challenges along the way but it's knowing how to deal with them in a very systematic way um, to be able to overcome those problems and coming up with solutions for them. So this is a very critical part of a PhD and you might not be able to find people who can help you with this because you're going to be delving into a very, very small part. It's kind of, you're looking, it's almost like a tunnel vision. You're looking at a great big problem and you're trying to tackle a very specific aspect of that problem. So it's very narrow and not everyone would have tackled that or not many people would have looked into that area of study. So you need to be aware that it's going to be very, very challenging. Another aspect is you need to be open to criticism. <laughs> I feel like I can't speak today. Um, yeah, that happens with me most of the days. But you understand what I mean. Um, yeah. Because um, you're going to face a lot of people kind of doubting your work, doubting your ideas, but it's very important for you to be strong in and committed to the ideas or, you know, to, to your work essentially. You need to be able to defend your work, but also be open to other people's ideas of ways that you can improve it. So being able to listen to other people is very, very fundamental and is very, very important. So it's very challenging, a PhD is going to be challenging, I'm only in my first year but I feel like because um, I've had, I did a master's of research degree so I feel like I've had a snippet, a, a, a little snippet of what a PhD is like and from the experiences of other people who have I've been surrounded by I, I kind of have a glimpse into the challenges that you may face during a PhD. So, doing a PhD will equip you with loads and loads of transferable skills that you can take to any industry or workplace that um, you want to go to by the end of your PhD. Um, because you're going to be going to loads of conferences where you're going to have to present your work, present your research ideas, um, you're going to get the chance of interacting with a lot of great you know minded people within your field of study you're going to get the chance of actually you know writing publications about your research um and also even engaging with the general public and communicating your research with loads of people um so this gives you the chance of developing a lot of transferable skills which are very which is very very important and fundamental so although this is not a critical reason for wanting to do a phd i think this is a good thing um in terms of doing a PhD, what a PhD can give you essentially. Okay, let's go on to reasons why you shouldn't do a PhD. So you shouldn't do a PhD just because you wanna become a doctor. Um, yeah, that's not gonna cut it. Uh, this is gonna be, if that's your only reason, um, there are plenty of ways to become a doctor and there are actually plenty of different um, doctoral degrees that you can get. Um, but obviously a PhD is the most common doctoral degree. Also, um, don't do a PhD because people say you should. I think, no, the motivation needs to lie within you. You need to want to do a PhD, you need to love research, you need to love problem solving in order to want to do a PhD. You shouldn't do a PhD because 
everyone thinks this is the right career path for you or everyone thinks this is what you should do no you should want to do your PhD yourself and you know if this takes time for you to actually think about whether you want to do a PhD take that time because a PhD is a huge commitment doing it simply because other people say I've said that you should do it is going to harm you in the long run because it's a four or three to four year commitment it's very challenging it's very hard it's very 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 difficult i'm sure loads of people cry all the time i've already started crying um but yeah it's a huge commitment to just want to do it just because simply because everyone tells you that you should do it no i think that's not a reason for you to do a phd also don't do a phd simply because you think it's a fast track to advance in you know in your workplace or in your job or in terms of money nope don't do that really don't do that because it is going to be painful imagine spending four years of your life doing something that you know you're not really really enjoying but you're doing it because you think it's the way to go or it's what i should be doing no don't, don't really really don't do that i think a key part in which i need to mention is that phd students do not get paid a lot we get paid the bare minimum to basically survive so you're gonna be surviving in life and then you're gonna be surviving in your research as well because it's not easy so really really don't just do it because you think it's the way to go to advance um you know in a pay grade in your job or in a job that you're looking for in the future no don't don't do it to yourself because it's going to be a struggle and it's going to be painful um yeah so don't do a phd simply because you think that it's something that you might want to do in the future i think you should just live for now um if that's something that you want to do you think you might want to do in the future i think it should be something that you should take your time to think about do other things or maybe even take up research positions to explore whether you know maybe this might be something that you would enjoy and essentially like doing before fully committing to that three or four years of the degree yeah so guys that was basically a brief very quick quick snappy video um on reasons why you should and shouldn't do a phd tons and loads of reasons why you should and shouldn't do a phd um i totally understand that there are various um, different driving um forces that may propel you to want to undertake a phd or doctoral training program um but yeah these are just kind of the key, key ones that i feel like you should just think about before committing um to doing this i had to take some time to actually think about it properly um before you know taking that huge leap of faith i did a master's of research um degree and that gave me kind of a glimpse a brief glimpse into whether i wanted to do a phd eventually and then even after that i took a few research roles just to get myself up to speed give me some taste of what the research environment would be like before actually fully committing to wanting and doing a phd of course um deciding to do a phd is just one step um it's kind of like the first step of the tick box um there are various various steps that come after that which is the application process or even writing research proposal which i'm going to make a video about um yeah um research proposals um which is very important personal statements um cvs um interviews contacting supervisors there's so many steps that um you need to take once you make that decision that you want to do or, or undertake a phd um i have some videos already uploaded that could help or guide you which is like the interview process cvs and personal statement finding funding yeah so there's so many different aspects but this is just kind of the first step and the first decision um in the long list of um steps um to take when deciding whether you want to do a phd but guys i hope you've enjoyed um this video so if you've enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up um please subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more of me um yeah i think that's pretty much it um, yeah but guys i hope you've enjoyed this video um anyway so dream big keep being inspired and i'll see you in the next video take care stay blessed and goodbye